Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my Yixing Racer 130. This is actually my first 130 size mini uh, brushless quadcopter. I think it's a mini brushless, not a micro, because it's 130 size. I like the 130 size because I don't think it has so as much problem as the uh, smaller size one with a lot of vibrations. But anyway, you can't buy this anymore because Yixing has discontinued this. And I got this as, at a very cheap price of around US dollars 65 or something like that. But anyway, this is my first 130 size. And also, I'm going to do a series of videos of how to set this up as a total beginner to this size quad and also <clears throat> to better flight. So anywhere in this video I'm going to take you through the quad itself and the box it comes with. I'm not going to do an unboxing because everyone else has done an unboxing but this is the almost ready to fly version without the transmitter. This is the quad itself so it's actually a very nice quad and there's quite a few videos on YouTube that doesn't talk very highly of this quadcopter. I think that's why it didn't sell very well and uh, Yixin or Banggood decided to uh, clear stock and was selling this off at, at a very cheap price. I wanted to get the ready fly version but I was a bit too late, I couldn't get it. I was thinking for quite a while before I decided to get it. But then I managed to get the uh, almost ready to fly version. So as you can see, this is carbon fiber. It has these uh, motors. I don't know what size motors they are. And has separate ESC. And this is the camera itself. I think it's a 300 milliwatts, 700 dB TVL camera if I'm not mistaken um, let me quickly have a look at the box yeah ESC 40 channel 300 milliwatts so it should give good range um, yeah 700 TVL power format and it comes in this box which is well um, protect protector box and um, if you open this up, you can see that it has the foam padding. It was quite difficult to get it out of the box, so but it was well protected anyway. So I'm happy with the way that it was packaged. A lot of people have uh, have bought this almost ready to fly version when it was on sale. So I think uh, those buyers will be interested in having a look at this quad before they actually receive their own in the mail. So it's a really well made quad as you can see. There's a camera. And you can adjust the uh, camera angle using this side. Um, what you call that? I don't know what you, you call that a lever and this is the straps for the battery the flight control board is here is NAS32 um, this side is for uh, PWN and PPM and this port is for uh, SBUS you can put a FreeSky V8 uh, receiver in here 5 volts this is this port is for um, the DSM or DSMX 3.3 volts and you have a beeper here so um, this casing comes with the quad so I think it's for making the wire tidy and this is the VTX uh, antenna this is the deep sticks for changing channels yeah it looks very very well made nicely built and these are the phone landing pad that came with it so which I have to uh, 
stick them on. The battery is a 450 milliamps 3 cell battery with JST connector. Then it also gives you this uh, centered 720p um, action camera. This one doesn't have a inbuilt battery. What you do is you connect this here and then the micro lossy connector you then connect here that draws the same power from this battery. So the quad itself draws power from here. The action camera, you put it on top of your quad. It draws power from the same battery. And also I forgot to mention the LED lights also draws power from this battery. So this one comes with two different set of wires. Um, I think with this other one, you can use this to connect to your con flight control board and so that you can control the on-off uh, switch of the camera with your remote control. So these two came with it. It came with uh, eight props, which means two sets of props. It also came with um, this wire connector for the uh, receiver uh, because the wiring is different from the receiver that I bought so I have to remove these wires and um, use the original uh, uh, I think this is micro JST plug this one is 4 pin so this was from my uh, receiver so I use the 3 pin one and connect that to my D8 receiver so I'm going to do a video to explain to you how I did it it also came with extra uh, zip tie. The zip tie is to um, zip, down, zip down the uh, ESC. Comes with one, two, three, four extra. And also came with this hex L shaped. Uh, you, do you call this a hex? driver and it comes with um, the screws for the props and also velcros for batteries this one is the um, foam landing pads and of course it comes with the uh, quality control uh, certification it also comes with um, this instruction manual. This is actually basically useless, so it doesn't tell you much. Just a basic uh, specification of the quad. It doesn't tell you the layout of the uh, flight control board. So you actually have to go to the uh, e uh, Banggood website um, to get the uh, different set of menu where they show you the NAS32 flight control board so that you know which port uh, connects what type of receiver. So all in all, this looks like a good quad for me uh, to start with and I'm going to do a series of videos to show how this is set up and uh, hopefully I get a chance to fly. It's winter over here now so um, I can't really fly much uh, outdoors so I'll just have to admire this until the weather is warmer so that I can go and fly outside in the meantime I'm going to just set this up so anyway I'm going to stop talking and just 
quickly give you a 3D view of this quad and um, hope you guys like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So until next time, cheers!